Hi kids and welcome back to Bodewine Farms. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the calves and uh, maybe go into the milking parlor a little bit. Um, we did talk about calves in an earlier video but I just wanted to show you one other thing. You know we each calf gets their own number and here we got 10,309. One other thing we do and you probably can't see because she won't hold still long enough. We write her birth date with a marking pen. Maybe this one wants to play. We write her birth date on the top so that we can easily look and see how old that calf is. Because we feed them milk until they're about two months old, if you remember that from the video, and our, that in, in our classroom visits. Once they, get, they drink out of that big bottle for about a week, and then we tr teach them to drink their milk out of a pail because it's easier for us to take this and clean it and it's, we can fit a larger volume of milk in it. And the other thing we do is we start feeding them uh, a pelleted feed. Uh, and this is corn and soybean meal and different minerals all smashed together into one pellet. And they learn to eat that while they're drinking milk and then eventually when we start to wean them off of the milk they eat only the pellet until they're about three months old and then we start to give them some hay. As the calves get older, which these calves in this line are about two months old, so when they get to where they're drinking only water we can take this panel And we actually take it all the way out so that the calves get grouped into a group of five. So we'll take a bunch of panels out and then they learn to have roommates. Because up until now they've had their own little apartment and we're going to get them used to living in what we call group housing or in a, in a social group. Uh, so we get them used to that in a group of five calves. And then after a couple of weeks of living with just a couple of roommates, then we move them into a group of six or eight calves. And then as that calf grows through her, her whole life, she'll just continually get put with more and more, but she will adjust uh, gradually to having more roommates, so to speak. While we're in the calf barn, I'm sure you can hear all of them mooing and bellering, we call it, behind me. It's because it's feeding time. So that's something that the calves do just like babies. They cry sometimes when they are hungry and need to be fed. These baby calves are going to do the same thing. So she's quiet now, but her neighbors are all yelling. But it's feeding time. So anything to say? No, nothing to say. Okay, fine. So hopefully you can hear me over all the calves complaining about not getting fed soon enough. But these calves are now the oldest calves. We have a system for moving our cattle, kind of like we do when we move our cows out of the pen to milk, we clean that pen. Well, these calves have lived in this barn for two months, and when we take them out, remember we pull part of the panels out, but then the other thing we do is when all the calves are moved to their other barn, we take all the bedding out and we actually take a power washer and we wash it. And this one isn't quite done, it's got a little bit more work that needs to be done. So we take the whole line out so we can clean it in between all of our calves so that if one was sick for some reason, the next one that lives there won't have to get sick because we clean it. Okay. When the baby calves are moved out of the individual pens after they've lived with their roommates for a while, then this is the kind of barn that they move into. We actually call this a transition barn. And just like the cow barns, we have curtains that we can close in the winter time. In the summer, we can roll it up and roll up the one that's in the back so that there's lots of air movement through here for ventilation. Um, but we usually have eight calves in each pen, and these calves are actually old enough now. Um, October, so they'd be four months old, five months old. 
they'll be eating a TMR very similar to what the milking cows eat. If you remember a TMR is a total mixed ration. But they have a bedding pack in the back where they can lay down, they can come and eat whenever they want, and then they can drink whenever they want. So that's where the calves live after they move out of the calf barn. So I think that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to, to sending you one next month. If you've got questions, let me know.